All right, today I'm gonna to be making up a metering valve setup for my Harbor Freight Blaster there in the back. I'm not gonna do a full exhaustive how-to because there are dozens of videos on YouTube on how to do that. Instead, I wanted this to be a shorter reference video on what type of materials you need to make the setup. So starting from the hatch, this is the hatch at the bottom of the blaster where you would open it and dump out all your media. You're gonna to have to drill a hole into that to get everything started. This is gonna be a largely one inch setup. Most people use a one inch pipe flange inside here, but the only problem with that is that you have to cut off the ears of the pipe flange to make that fit into this box. Instead, I have a one inch conduit hub. That way, this is all we have to get fit into the door. So we're gonna start off with that. That's gonna go into a one inch close nipple, which goes into a one inch T, which goes out the bottom, we're gonna have a one inch plug in case you ever wanna drain the media. Then coming out of the T, you have a one inch by three inch nipple into another one inch nipple, except this is one inch by three quarter. Out the top of that is a three quarter by quarter bushing. Out the top of that will be a quarter inch ball valve then out the other side is going to be a three quarter, a one inch to three quarter bushing, sorry, and to a three quarter by five eighths barb fitting. And then you hook on your hose like that, and that's what feeds the media to your blasting gun. One little bonus, if you want to stick around, is how to apply Teflon tape. I know some people struggle on which direction you need to uh, wrap it or how to hold it best. The easiest way that I was taught to do it was to hold the part that you need in your left hand, take the pipe tape, the Teflon tape is gonna drape over the back like this. Hold your thumb on it and then wrap it around. Keep tension on the tape as you wrap and that will allow you to easily wrap and easily keep tension on the tape so that once you take it off, the tail end of the tape you can see it's pointing in that direction so as you thread it in it will smooth out the tape and not unravel it so that's all the parts you need for the metering valve setup aside from the quarter inch ball valve which i don't have i'm sure it's around here somewhere um but yeah hope that helps catch you guys on the next one thanks for watching